Hey there, traders. David here of TradingFibs.com and MarketFi Live Trading Room to bring you the weekly index outlook for November 24th, 2014. As always, please seek financial advisement when trading with your money, as these videos are for educational purposes only to support your knowledge in the market. See what was going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. So here we are heading into a short week of trading as we enter into the Thanksgiving holiday. Let's jump right into the four major indices as we do every day, looking for opportunities to trade on whether you are trading the ETFs or the futures. Looking for opportunities on intraday, knowing that the trend has basically been upside for, that's right, at least the last two weeks of October after that drop down in the market. Correction as we head upside. Taking a look at the daily 24 hour on the NDX here of the NASDAQ index as using the Fibonacci target, which we already had a pull over the 50 period moving average, drop back, hitting Fib target number one. But here we are as we head upside to a target high of 4404 up here. However, as we come down to the weekly, we could see on the bigger picture over the course of the month after a drawn a target from or point A, point B, and retrace over the 50 per moving average as price action has been continuing upside, hitting a fib target here at 161.8 and dropping back down to now up here at 4288. So good question. If we can get up there to 4404, we will definitely uh, be pushing above the line in the sand here at 4288 on the NDX. As we can see here, the NDX on the monthly has been screaming upside as we head up here to 4452. So on a daily 4404, could be a possibly short-term target. We've got to get above that 4288. To get there, as we can see here on the 534 crossover, looking at the Heiken Ashi bars, the Heiken Ashi still in trend to the upside as we see price action uh, for the last uh, at least uh, two weeks, like we saw here once we pushed above the 50 period moving average. Solid bodies, Heiken Ashi tails, straight upside. One indecision candle here as we just continue to push the boundaries to the upside. However, what is in consideration is price and momentum. Let's take a look at big picture here. Price and momentum on day trading hours has been coming downside with price action has been continuing upside. A little bit of a concern if we're able to push higher to those targets on a daily basis. Four hour swing size chart still above the 50 period moving average and screaming higher. So there is our NASDAQ. It's, again, we continue to push up higher. We'll take a look here at the end on the 4 EMA chart, looking for intraday possibilities, uh, is looking for two bar confirmations, 534 and 513.21 EMA crossovers. And that is how we do it in the trading room every day, looking for those intraday, knowing where the daily trend is. So once again, NDX on the daily, headed up to 4404, FIB target two. We got to push through that weekly level at 42.88, and that can be a significant line in the sand here. If we are able to get above those, the higher target 44.52, which would be right above that 44.04 on the monthly 261.8 monthly target. Let's jump right into the diamonds, or excuse me, the DJX of the Dow as we head upside. Very similar story, except no Fibonacci setup on our daily as price action retrace significantly enough for us not to get a draw so we've been just chopping back sideways here hoping for a retrace but this retrace came lower than the crossover here so waiting actually for a pullback for a cleaner entry on the dow as we look at the dow stocks in another video looking for opportunities for pullbacks some have been Absolutely on a scream upside with a 534 again, very similar picture here as in our other indices. Heiken Ashi bars, solid bodies, tails up to keep you in the trend. Looking for opportunities in the Dow stocks using the same technique on an intraday basis. Or if you're looking for the swing trade, again, it's looking for the crossover of the moving averages and staying in with the Heiken Ashi bars. And catch that in one of our other videos as well. 
looking for individual opportunities in the Dow stocks. Here we can see on the daily, uh, again, same picture here on the 24 hour chart on the left hand side, five above, excuse me, these are the eight, eight simple moving average above the 50 and the 200 as trend continues to stay in play here. But again, similar picture that we saw on the NASDAQ just before as price action coming downside here, price and momentum are to the downside. So a little concern as price action continues upside, would like to see that in unison. Here in our weekly on the Dow, we see price action continuing upside, breaking this 167.82 as we head up to 197. And here we can see on the monthly target at 185. So if we get a pullback, that would be even nicer entry on the daily and then push up again upside. Uh, most likely up here, the 185 target is the closest here as far as uh, Fibonacci lines on a monthly as that's right, the four hour swing size chart continues to hold above that 50 period of moving average. What keeps me in the trend looking at the uh, ETFs or the future again is knowing that the five is above the 34 with Heike and Ashley bars, solid bodies tail up. But again, on the, on the Dow looking for the pullback and then a lift higher but if we continue higher basically if you got the early entry there's no reason to come out of it except manage it on the way up whether you're trading the ETF trading the futures or trading any of the individual stocks or options trend is in play take a look here to the SPX same picture on the spiders as we see price action again unable to draw the Fibonacci target on the daily as we had price pullback breaking the 61.8 percent line so again we're looking for a new setup so price action to pull back under the eight period moving average and then the break upside would be a much cleaner entry as we could see same picture five above the 34 hike and ashi bars let's go ahead and maximize that so you can see what it means to stay in a trend that's right look at that beautiful solid body tail up day in every day stay in the trend simply managing whether it's the ETF or whether you're tra uh, trading the futures it's following the Heiken Ashi bars solid bodies tails up one tick below and managing on the way up what a beautiful strategy to keep you in trend on our daily chart here the eight above the 50 and 21 again here we have the uh, price and momentum looking a lot better here than uh, we had there on the YM, uh, excuse me, not the YM, the, the Dow and the NASDAQ on indices, but here we can see price just being able to break above. So we are now in an upward, so a nice match to the upside, see if we can continue that. But again, looking for the pullback as well here. Uh, we can see here the SPX headed up to 2176 there and much closer target than we have here up at 2213 on the monthly, again, four hour swing size. Uh, headed upside and holding above that. Let's jump right into the Russell. Here we have the Russell, one of the major indices traded in the tar uh, in the trading room. Here we could see on the Russell we had a nice entry to the downside. You had a pullback here. Let's go ahead and throw up a fib retracement. I believe that was about a 60. Let's see what that was. That was just a little bit above 60. So again, uh, not technically the best entry. Uh, to the downside but you can see here if you draw point a point b and point c point c really broke that 61.8 but i just want to go ahead and show you that again to the downside fib and uh, fib target was hit but again the violation here is because the price action crossed the 50 and came right back up over the 50 that would not be a valid uh, drawing so we removed that what are we doing we got a v recovery here we're, again we're waiting for we see just basically a nice setup of Chop play here. We're looking for the pullback. This might be the setup for the pullback, but on a pullback, what we have here again, we have a 23% retracement. If you take a look at the daily picture here, point A crossing, point B, with point A and point B crossing, we're looking for price action to move upside. And so then once that has been confirmed and we are in trend, we draw the FIB extension from point A point B point C would be down here as soon as we broke 1188 fib target one would be up here at 1226 and again we're looking for about 1222 
on the future. So again, price and momentum now upside, breaking to the upside on the Russell index here. Again, looking at the daily, uh, that's our daily picture. Looking at the weekly, we've already gotten up the highs here to 1130 and 1379, way up there, but monthly target has really been holding upside at this 1122, uh, same picture all around. Uh, Fibonacci levels holding support, holding upside here at 1043. Never been able to tuck under that. And again, almost coming down to the 50 period moving average on the Russell, um, but never being able to uh, break downside and holding upside here. So again, picture for the week, we're looking for uh, the pullback on not only the SPY or uh, the, the, the index for the future on the ES or the SPY on the ETF. Would prefer the pullback, but again, we're in trend. Take a look again at the YM on the futures or the diamonds. Looking at the indices, the index here, holding above key moving averages, Fibonacci targets, see if we can break to the upside. And NASDAQ, again, we have the FIB targets upside. The closest target here being the monthly target here at a uh, daily target at 4404. Monthly target 4452. If we can break above this 4288 on the weekly charts as we jump into our last chart here again this is the four major indices here in the index the nasdaq up here the ndx holding well above the four period moving averages four five above 13 above 21 and 80 an intraday strategy that we use here at market find the live trading room solid bodies tails up to keep you in the trade as long as that five is above in combination with the Fibonacci makes for an even stronger trend play. So if the trend is up, the five is above the 34, the five is above the 1321. We see that on the index. We see that on the ETF. The future is there for the intraday session. Uh, even more powerful entry to the upside when all three charts we say are in confirmation. Same picture here on the uh, Spider Dow, the DIA. Actually, I threw the, uh, these are the, um, I apologize here. This shouldn't be the NDX. I wanted to show you guys the the Russell, um, not the Russell, the uh, ETFs here. But mix it up here. I guess I got the NDX. I got the diamonds here. Uh, the diamonds showing a nice entry. So let's go ahead and throw up that Q triple Q. That's what I'm going to show you guys. So similar picture as we see. Remove some previous numbers there, uh, previous levels, and there you go. Same picture as you see. The triple Q holding upside, and we have the SPX or S&P 500 looking the same. Let's pull up the SPY, and there we go. Same picture as price action came back down, and now five holding above 1321, above 80. You see solid bodies tail up, and there we go. Our Russell index. Let's change that to the IWM. Same picture. We all around. There we go. And of all the indices here, now the concern on the ETF at least. Um, perhaps we have this 23% retracement here. You'd wait for the breakout above the previous high around 1118.22 here before you were take an entry and continue this trend with a target of about 12, 122. Uh, same picture on the future. So again, wait till you break above that to get a confirmed uptrend. Five is holding above the 1321.80. So nice, uh, nice support there and keeping in trend as we saw here on the Russell right here on the five above the 34, holding above Heike and Ashi bars and big picture all around. Taking a look uh, for economic data for the week as we get into the holiday here, Monday, November 24th, looking at PMI, Dallas Fed on Monday morning. Heavy action on Tuesday as we look at GDP. So maybe perhaps this market will start to focus on economic data. And then Wednesday we, uh, have full market action with jobless claims, personal income, and then Friday, uh, Thursday and Friday shortened session. So it should make for an interesting first couple days. Wednesday tends to quiet up a little bit around the lunch hour. So get your trades in. Again, look for the intraday session to um, be in line with the trend. That doesn't mean you have to. Uh, you can't go against the bigger trend. Look for the look for the pullbacks. Again, if it's in trend on all three charts. Just trade the charts in front of you. No crystal ball. Uh, for members in the trading room, just a reminder, every day we have uh, posts here at MarketFi, which allow you a recap of some of the 
uh, actually not just for members only, for everybody who uh, has the link and who has access to MarketFi, able to see some of the trades that we take every day from the uh, trading room, which is a live screen share. As uh, we here see uh, from last Friday's action, several setups in the morning session. Again, the goal here is to remain in the trend or at least to identify the trend at first, which increases your probability. Whether you get off at six ticks, uh, if you go up to 54 ticks, if you go up to 80 ticks on a run, the ability to stay in the trend is the goal here at uh, marketfi.com live trading room. And again, feel free to stop on by, check out some of the public posts that I put there every day. And if you're ever in the neighborhood, come on by tradingfibs.com, see former posts, uh, recaps of trades that uh, lots of times uh, move in direction of the trend and what keeps me in, what keeps me out, or what stopped me out in any given point. All right, that concludes this week's insights. Feel free to stop by at TradingFibs or Mockerify.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information. My mantra is to know one thing and know well rings two for all markets. Whether you trade futures, whether you trade the Forex, this technique and strategy works. Whether you trade equities, ETFs, my plan will keep you disciplined. You can find me every day on Twitter at TradingFibs. And as always, I really do leave the crystal ball to the experts. I only trade what's in front of me and on my charts. Hope you all have a great Thanksgiving week. Have yourself a blue zone week.